Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. Hefner's Jewelers in Coal Run Village was the victim of a snatch-and-grab theft in June of 2015 when two people entered the store wearing motorcycle helmets and smashed a display case, taking several pieces of jewelry. Last week, four people were indicted on a felony theft charge in that incident. Those indicted included Leslie Nehas, Jessica Greer, Gregory Gobble, and Jeremy McSweeney, all of North Carolina. Nehas and Greer had been previously indicted in the case, but the charges were dismissed after DNA evidence could not be matched up. But local authorities finally got a hit on the DNA evidence. First indictment, Leslie Ruth Nehas and Jessica Don Greer were indicted uh, based on eyewitness, eyewitness statements. And um, DNA was left at the scene from the robbery. So their DNA was compared to it and it was not a match. So those were indictments were dismissed. Uh, the DNA was entered into the system. We did get a hit on it, and as a result, we re-indicted Leslie Nehas, Jessica Greer, along with Gregory Gobble and Jeremy McSweeney. Coal Run Police Chief Jason Ray said the investigation into the incident at Hefner's revealed similarities to other crimes committed in other states. Ray said officers in Coal Run contacted authorities in those other states and were able to link the four indicted here last week to some of those other crimes. Found out that uh, these suspects were from North Carolina and contacted the uh, police department up there, found out that there was jewelry store robberies fitting the same description in the area. Uh, we also spoke to some in Tennessee and South Carolina that fit the same description, and they were working on linking them all together, in which I think we finally managed to do, especially with this DNA hit that we received. Chief Ray said he hopes to get the four back to Pike County soon to prosecute them. As far as we know, they're still in uh, North Carolina. One of them, uh, I think, Jeremy McSweeney, maybe in FBI custody or U.S. Marshal custody one. Uh, the other ones are still residing, as far as we know, in North Carolina. If convicted, the four face up to 10 years in prison each. Reporting in Coal Run Village, Chris Anderson, EKB News.